Hi, I'm Ali Perry, the Operating Theatre Manager at St George's Hospital. As Theatre Manager, my role is to make sure that everything's in place for the surgeons and the anaesthetists. So that means making sure that I've got the right staff with the right skills and the right knowledge for the list on the day. Uh, we have nine operating theatres and one uh, cardiac cath lab. Uh, we do day surgery cases and uh, complex cases that for inpatients as well. We've purchased a navigation system. So there's three components to the navigation system. A very sophisticated computer program, an imaging system that allows us to do a complete 360 degree scan of a patient and obtain their anatomy, and also very specialised instruments. It means the surgeon can make the very smallest incision possible, so it's minimal invasive surgery. This causes less trauma to the tissue, so there's less pain for the patient. And there's also an ability to do better placement of an implant. So we would use it particularly for bony procedures such as spinal surgery, cervical surgery and also procedures around the head. So I'm really fortunate to work with a team of people that are really caring and genuinely interested in the outcomes for the patient and they will really go the extra mile to make sure that uh, care is individualised to suit what uh, that patient needs. So whether it be that it has to be an all-female theatre, uh, if children are coming to theatre, that the family are able to be involved in their care and uh, able to comfort the child and be with them as long as possible. I think when a patient is choosing to go to a hospital, they want to be assured that the facility is safe. At St George's Hospital, we have very well-trained nurses. A number of our staff are completing postgraduate education. We're also able to offer 24-hour uh, intensive care coverage in addition to that provided by the surgeon and the anaesthetist. The rooms are really well appointed and the hospital is very quiet. Being set back from the road, you don't have the uh, noise of vehicles going past. So it's a very restful environment for people to recover.